Welcome to part two of Are All Hybrid Elastics the Same? If you're not sure what's going on, you'd be better off trying to find part one on the channel. Get to skip onto the channel and find the first part. It's not called part one, it's just called Are Hybrid Elastics All the Same? This one will be part two. Um, and it'll just mean that I've got to re-explain myself over and over again. So this time we're looking at the same three brands. We're looking at Drillin, Preston, Matrix. But these are the 1.8 mil sizes. So we're going to compare these against one another and we're going to see how um, they compare against one another and see if we get similar results as we did on the previous video where we did the two mils. So let's just get straight into it. So we've got our three elastics here, all marketed as 1.8 mil hybrids. The bright orange one. He's the slick, the bright green one or the sort of luminous green one. He is the Preston and the red one is the Drenner. Let's go. Now, isn't that interesting? In this particular test, These two elastics seem to be performing so close to the same that I couldn't, you know, there's too much error in my um, technique, in my method, for me to consider that this is anything other than a draw. And this time, this time adrenaline has come out ever so slightly stronger. Try it again. And again, this time it's come out very similar. Maybe ever so slightly in favour of the drenning. But there's not a lot in it between the drenning and the Preston as a start point. 15 to 15. And we are in in favour of the matrix there by um, 15 millimetres. Do it again. Yeah, and we're slightly in favour again of the matrix by about the same amount. So, push mine out to there, 45 out to there, and again, the matrix wins marginally a little bit more than it did over the Preston, but only by a couple of millimetres. Well, that's sitting at 1.88 there. So we've got that 1.88. And if I put the, you can see it's like dragging. It's just, that is absolutely, we're looking at 1.9. When I get the Preston one, he moves freely in and out of it. So I've just set this up so that if I push the drenin in, it holds just, and that's telling me 1.9584, okay? And if you, you see if I pull it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't fall freely, it's just touching. I've taken the Preston, the green one, it won't stay in there, it's very loose in there. So the Preston is significantly smaller. Now having said that, so if I try and mark down the Preston now just so it's catching. There. 1.79, not 1.9. What's the difference between two different um, rated elastics, a size 12 to 14 and a size 14 to 16 in the same product. Let's have a quick look so we can get an idea of what makes, what really is the difference between each grade. So, straight in there with a nice quick, nice quick and simple one. And that's showing just above 10 centimetres. Just a little, just a little slip a little bit of my fingers there, so let's redo it. Just 
making sure I've got it nice and accurate. I'm not stretching it, very stretching it. Out to the 45, out to the 15. And we're getting nearly 20 there, difference between the two products that are the same product but different sizes. Let's try with a 50 mil, got a little bit more margin for error. We use 50 mil of elastic instead of 30 mil. Yeah, we're getting we're getting something in the region of I don't know 30 mil difference over the two. So it's 50 mil to the side, which means there's 30 mil difference in the way they're stretched approximately. I'll check it on the camera later and I'll give you a more accurate measurement on the screen. Doing the same again. Got the two mil Preston, got the one point eight, sorry, we've got the two mil Drennan. We've got the 1.8 Drennan, and we're just going to test them against one another and see what the difference between two materials from the same uh, manufacturer. Those two, on that instance, have come out the same. Right then. So, I've repeated this three times. I keep getting the same result and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And so I have to keep rechecking it. I'm going to do it again for you guys. The blue Drennan, blue, the red Drennan, red. 1.8, 2 mil. This should be stronger than that. I haven't measured them yet against one another. They look very, very similar in size. Now, what is in, let's think back to what we saw previous, previously. So I've started doubting myself, but I've started to realise it's not me. This elastic was weaker than all the other two mils, the weakest. And it was this elastic was joint top in the 1.8 mils. So they're going to be close. Closer than you think. So let's try it with the 30, 30 millimeters first. Stretch it out to 15 and 45. And it's happened again. This is the third or fourth time this has happened. It's got to be correct. The, blue, the red 1.8 mil elastic is stronger than the 2 mil blue elastic. Don't understand what's going on. That is what's going on. I'm going to do it with a 50 mil. Okay, from the 50 mil, I'm going to go to 50, cent, 50 centimeters and down to the 10 centimeters. And again, even with the 50 mil, where we've got that opportunity for the error to be taken out, we're still seeing that the red elastic is stronger. In the blue elastic. This makes no sense whatsoever. We, still, we could be starting to understand why. I'm just going to screw this in until it just catches. It's the red one, which is the thinner one. You just feel it touching the sides there now. And the blue one is a tighter fit, but only just. It's not 0.2 of a mil tighter. So, potentially, there's an error. There's an error in manufacture here from pressed from Drennan, and that is why the 1.8 is so strong. Is because actually it's the correct size at 1.8, and the two mil is so weak because it's not actually two mil. So um, I'm even more confused now than I ever was before. But we've learnt something here. And take away from this what you will. I'm not having to go at Drennan because I don't know what the manufacturing process is, but this is marketed as a 14 to you know a 12 to 14, I think, or something like that. I can't remember because I've lost it, but it's definitely marketed as more powerful than that. And in this instance, it isn't. Whether I've got a duff packet, whether I've got a duff batch, whether or not Drennan's had some issues, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there. Finally, let's just have another little look at the difference between size 11 and size 13 Preston stuff. So I fish with this stuff at the moment and I can tell you that I'm pretty certain there's a difference. 
significant difference between the two when I'm fishing with them. So I'll be surprised if it doesn't. I'd like to see how that translates on my test. That there is a significant difference compared to anything else we've had so far between two grades. I'm going to repeat it. so much this time but it's still there so similar this time it's similar to what we got with the slick let's try it with the 50 centimeter start point creeping towards the right because it's just starting to pull. Pull the thin elastic out of my fingers, it's probably the lubrication on these. Elastics because Preston do lubricate theirs. You were looking at around about around about 40 before it starts to slip out of my fingers. Wow, what a set of results that was. Loads of things to talk about first off. And the most significant thing was the Drennan situation. Um, for some reason, the, the Drennan, the two different sizes of the Drennan were performing the same. It had me questioning my methods and my approach. And my, I've cocked this up, you know, have I done the right thing? Am, am I making a mistake? And I checked it and I checked it and I checked it. And each time it was the same result. And what was bizarre was, over the results, it seemed like the lighter elastic was ever, the supposedly lighter elastic was ever so slightly stronger. Very, very significantly small amount. They're probably the same, pretty much. I don't know why that is. When I've, when I've sat off camera with my vernier, I've been really carefully mic'd them up, I'm vernied them up. There's very, very little bit difference between them in diameter. So I suspect there's a manufacturing error there or a, something like that. I've got along that right. If you can hear my dogs in the background, sorry about that. So let's just gloss over that Drennan situation and put that to one side because something's gone on there and hopefully when we try another size of the Drennan we won't have that problem. Look at the pressed relationship between the Preston and the Matrix again. So again, the Matrix was ever so slightly stronger than the Preston. Not in breaking strain, we didn't measure that. We're talking about the grade of elastic. It's ever so slightly heavier. Their 1.8 mil was ever so slightly heavier elastic than Preston's 1.8 mil. Yeah, when I use my vernier to measure them, the matrix one is a little bit bigger in diameter, so that could be the factor here. It could be that the whole premise of these videos, are they all the same, is in fact, yes, they are all the same, but what isn't the same is the diameter. Um, and perhaps just because one packet says it's 1.8, Maybe it's not. One's 1 1.7 and one's 1 1.9. Makes a big difference, 0.1 of a millimetre. What we also learnt was the Drennan and the Preston, they've got significant differences between the grades of their product range. So, you know, the difference between the Preston 11 and the Preston 13 is significant. And the difference, again, the difference between the Matrix 1.8 and the Matrix 2 mil is significant, which is what you would expect, and people that use these products all the time would be able to tell you that anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's raised more questions than it's answered, but we can move on. We're going to do another one. Next one will be two mil ones, the bigger, even heavier ones, and see whether or not the Drennan one comes back into line with everything, and see whether or not we continue with the Matrix slip being ever such a slightly heavier, the same diameter, or the same stated diameter as... Uh, as the Preston one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you for the next one.